John Persuto. I think you mean prosciutto, Rowan. Please, no, John Persuto. The Victorian anymore, Liberal Party. The Victorian <laughs> Liberal Party. Honestly, Rita, what is going on in Victoria? Well, it's in shambles. They are unelectable. Zero chance of winning election. If there was an election today, I think Dan Andrews would win in even oh, a bigger landslide, us. which you would think would be quite difficult given how well he did last time around. And it's not because he's a fantastic Premier and has a great government. No, it's because there is no effective opposition. And Prosciutto now is being booed by his own members. People are walking out. Um, let's have a look at some this of the footage from the This is all to do with the, the more State redeeming Council. expulsion. Let's have a look. Thank you very much. Order, order, order. So this is the new Victorian Liberal leader at his first major kind of state council meeting, basically being booed, James. Well, you know, this is exactly what happens when leaders of Liberal parties, you know, parties on the centre-right, listen to the advice of all the people out there on Twitter, the Kos Samarises, all of those people who, oh, have, dear. who do not have the best <laughs> interests of the Liberal Party or the Coalition at heart, and yet they say, oh, but what the Coalition needs to do, what the Liberal Party needs to do if they want to ever win and have a chance to get young voters again is to go hard, woke, left. Well, what have they done? They've gone hard woke left. They were hard woke left before the election exactly. with the net zero, with the treaty, with everything else. It didn't win them a seat. And now, after the election, it's got John Pasuto with people screaming at him at a state council meeting. This is exactly why, you know, Victoria, uh, New South Wales, Everywhere, the only way forward for conservative parties, for centre-right parties, is to be conservative, be centre-right, and not play the Me Too game. That's what Pesuto has done, and he's angered everybody. And the weird thing is, he's not the first to do it. The Vic Libs aren't the first. We saw what happened with the WA Libs. We've seen this over and over again. When the Libs go hard left and it's not centre, the Victorian yeah, sorry, Libs, exactly. you could argue, on some of their policy positions are to the left of the Albanese government. Their mission targets were higher for the last election. They've signed up to treaty. They've signed up for radical trans legislation that Dan Angers has pushed through. through. They say they support it 100%. So... They have tried this and the results are clear. This does not work and yet their solution is to keep doing more of the same, to go further left still to supposedly get this middle ground, this imaginary area when you actually need to give people a choice. You need to give people an, an idea of how you are different from the other mob. And, and this is why this not. is why Rita and James it is so important that Peter Dutton is now leading the federal Liberal Party in a more conservative manner, saying no to the voice, talking about nuclear power, hopefully walking away from net zero before too long.